Hi guys. So today is going to be a collective haul. I keep doing hauls. I feel like I keep buying and I keep wanting to share with you what I got. So this is going to be books slash beauty products slash hair products slash shoes and slash clothes. But it's going to be, I'm going to make it short as possible. So if you guys are interested, then stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys are books. Obviously my last video was um, a, re a review on Fifty Shades of Grey and everybody recommended that I read the closest thing to Fifty Shades of Grey which is Bare to You. Needless to say I just finished this book. Um, I finished this book in a week, less than a week. I finished, I started on Sunday, finished on Thursday morning. I'm going to really go into depth about it. If you guys want to know my opinion on it just let put it down below. Um, and then I got Gillian Flynn uh, which is Gone Girl, and this is the book that I am currently reading now. It is definitely a different style of writing that I'm trying to get used to. Moving on to beauty, I got, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I'll put a picture here somewhere. Um, but uh, I kind of went crazy. I went strictly for some groceries, some uh, Caesar salad dressing, um, things like that, and I wound up getting a whole bunch of beauty products. So I'm going to share with you what I got. Um, I got the cream eyeshadow um, pigment. These are new and it's really pretty colors, guys. This is really gorgeous. Um, I actually have it on. I put it on this morning and um, I got this one. This one's in Dawn. The other color is bronze. And this is a color I really, really like because if you just put it on the crease, it just gives you depth and dimension and it really contours your face, I feel like. I really like this color. Very pigmented. These two colors, however, I have not used and these are a little bit different. These are the pigmented eyeshadows. Um, so they are not the cream material type and um, I don't know if you can see, but it's got little holes in here and you have to pull this up to open it and I haven't figured out how to do that yet. It's like really stuck in there. I don't know how to do that. But this color is golden. So it's a gold kind of pigmented color. And then this one is naturally nude. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. I'll do a swatch. But, um, I didn't really want to set up my real camera, my legit camera, for this short type of haul. And then this is the eyebrow kit. And it comes with a little brush. Oh, and the other the other ones came with little brushes that um came, they were all individually packed. So they were all they were three dollars each, um, I believe, and they came with little brushes. And usually I don't use brushes, but because I have my nails are a little bit longer and they're done, um, I didn't want to like scoop it and then like put it on my hands, and that's usually what I would do, would apply with my hands and my fingertips. So I use a little brush and I would give it a thumbs up. Um so this comes with a mirror and a little brush and, and this is the brow gel right here and then this is the little highlight that you would put underneath it and I really do like it. I think it definitely matches my shade of my, the color of my um, eyebrows and it definitely defines them and it's easier to fill in and I really, I didn't need anything for my brows because I was really, I did a trick, I found a brown shade and I would fill them in. And I found that worked for me forever. But this one I definitely love. And I will get this again. And this is actually new. The package of it said new. So it was new. I got me some e.l.f. eyelid primer. And really I was on the way to CoverGirl. I was going to CoverGirl to get the uh, naturally golden bronze. I can't remember the color. But it's something I always use when I do my... If you look at my any of my old videos when I'm doing my eyelids, I use a certain palette. So I was going in there to get that one again and I passed the e.l.f. aisle and I was very impressed with the packaging. So I just kind of started kept grabbing because it's like a dollar, three dollars max. So you can't go really... You can't go wrong. So I had to get some more... I was like, I might as well just go ahead and get some more um, e.l.f. eyelid primer. It's a, t a tad different bit of packaging. The... The lid up here, not the lid, what do you call this? The little swatch wand uh, is a little bit bulkier, but other than that, it's the same type of packaging. Moving on to the hair products. Like I said, this is going to be really quick. I didn't need any shampoo. Um, I don't, I try not to shampoo my hair that often, but then I get this type of, um, if I see shampoo or see somebody cleaning their hair, I just get the urge to want to clean mine. 
And that's really weird. So um, it was an impulse by, needless to say, and this is Mixed Chicks. I don't know if you can see this really good, but um, Mixed Chicks, and this is a sulfate free shampoo. You can't read any of the writing here, but I really got it because I really like the, the um, packaging. It doesn't smell bad, but then it just smells like a hair product. Um, it says it's color safe, mild cleanser. Um, it lifts your hair. It's good for color tri uh, treatment, treated hair. Uh, good without stripping, natural oils, yada, yada, yada. They all say to do something. I'll do a review later on this product because this is a new product line that I'm pretty sure you guys that are natural or transitioning or any, anything would probably want to know if it's worth the money. I think that was $14.99. This is the Cantu Shea Butter Hair Dressing Promade, and it's 25% more in the bottle. But uh, So I used Cantu before. Not necessarily this one. This is the pomade. I usually use the, um, I, I don't know how to, I don't know what it was. But it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't this consistency. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's kind of like a gel. Um, it smells really good. And I swore to myself that I would never buy another Cansey one because I, I felt like it wasn't really doing anything to my hair. But uh, I decided to go ahead and get this one. It was a price cut, which was another bonus. So it was only $3.19 at Target. So I decided, what the heck, go ahead and get it. Um, it's made with pure shea butter, texturizes, and adds controls for all hairstyles, adds shine and lift. So um, I will do a review on this one later as well, if it works. If it does, it'll be in my August favorites. Um, and then last but not least, for the hair slash beauty product section I got the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask um, and this is with sea kelp, argan oil, and shea butter. Now I have used Shea Moisture before did a review on the thing that I got before I have their spray and their um, what is the other one? I just ran out of it. It's I don't I can't remember the name of it but it's it's the Shea Moisture line I just never got their deep conditioner treatment and this is what this is for. It's here to heal, grow, and strengthen your hair. Um, I've used it. I love it. Um, as you can see, the inside of the bottle is a little hair, whatever. But it's so thick. And I just, my hair just feels soft and manageable. I can detangle with this in. And it's, I really like it. Um, that's the shortest review you're ever going to get. I really, I recommend this one. If you haven't tried this line, try it. You'll love it. Moving on to the jewelry, um, I'm actually wearing one of the purchases. I really love these earrings. They're cross earrings, but they're long, so they slide through the back of your ear, and then they hang. They're dainty, so if you don't like heavy jewelry, you like the lightweight, you'd rather wear just pearls, which um, that's what I'm starting to like wear more often, um, I would definitely recommend these. I got these from Forever 21, and they were only $3.50. The next one is uh, this necklace I got from Belk. Um, I really love this. I always get compliments when I wear this out. Um, and I just, I feel like a goddess when I wear this necklace. I don't know why, a warrior. Uh, the next one is $4.80 and they're these cute little pyramid sculpted, I, I call them faceted uh, stud earrings. And I really love these. They're not clip-ons. They, you know, actually clip in your ear. And I really love these. They had purple ones and I believe green ones. But I decided to go for the blue ones because I feel like I already have purple and green. Um, so why not go with the blue? Um, let's move on. I think I'm doing pretty good with time, guys. Um, so last but not least for jewelry, I got this long, dainty necklace. And it's gorgeous. And it's a clock that actually works. So it looks tan here with the, uh, the uh, what do you call this? It's to protect it, but you can pop this open with this button here, and it pops open, and it tells the actual time. It's a, it works. It's an actual working clock. I love it. I haven't worn it yet, um, but I'm eager to wear it. I love this. It just, I don't know, it reminds me of my grandfather's clocks. So I love this one. This one was... $9.80, and 
if I would have known it was that much, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. But it was really an impulse buy, and I was shopping with the girls. Um, that one's from Forever 21 as well. One pair of clothes that I am going to show you that I got from Forever 21 that I really love is this color blocking t-shirt. Well, it's not t-shirt, top. And it reminds me of something that Topshop um, would carry, but I really love it. My friend got the uh, white and black one. So it's black here and then it's white or cream on the bottom. But I really love this brown and black together. I just, I always love those colors together. And it's really cute on. I tried this on and I absolutely fell in love with it. I think this was $14 at Forever 21. Um, and they're brand new, so if you go to Forever 21 now, or even if you go online, you can find this top anywhere. Um, I think I'm going to get some more in different colors. All right, moving on is uh, these shoes that I got from Target. Target, And um, I really love these. They're loafer-inspired. Loafer and they're really cute. I just really, really love these. Um, I love the color blocking. And I instantly thought these would go perfect with the new shirt from Forever 21. What do you guys think? And finally... Almost final. One more thing after this is these shoes that I got from Belk, and they're Nine West. And um, I just love these heels now. If you guys saw my last haul video that I shared with you, um, I shared with you. I call them the Dorothy shoes, and they have the. It's the same height heel, and I really like the pumps and the stilettos. But I feel like I'm gravitating more towards the simple, um, classic staple type of heel, and I really like these. These remind me of like the 50s and 40s. Um, type of style so and you wear like a pencil skirt and I just really like these and they're really really cute and these are like the little sling back ones I can't remember how much I paid for these but I got these from I don't know if I, if I got them from both they're like 50% off and then last but not least I've been dying to share with you this phone cover um, I've had this for about two weeks now and I get non-stop compliments about this phone case they love it and um, people think from far away it looks like zebra print but then they look closer and these are like little mini mustaches <laughs> and I instantly fell in love with this case when I saw it I got it on Etsy and you can personalize it um, I don't think they have this case one anymore but I think they have different prints um, and this obviously has my um, initials on the back part just a monogram. Um, if you guys are interested in where exactly, I will put the information of where I found it down in the drop down box. But her name is simply Monogram, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think that's all. I don't want this to be a long haul. I really just wanted to show you guys what I got. And um, hopefully you enjoy it and you go out and get it yourself. So I will talk to you guys in my next video and I'll see you later. Bye.